What's up, guys? Pokey Slim here. Um, today we got a well, we got a good bunch of stuff actually. Um, was just out and about like usual. Um, got paid for a couple cards, so I figured we would stock up. Hopefully, stock up some stuff for the shop. So we're gonna open up one of the Galar Pal mini tins. Um, this little thing here, it's, it looks like it's repackaged by the Pokemon Company itself, so it should be pretty decent. We got a cool Espeon pin in the Burning Shadows box. Is why I bought it. This was like ten bucks, and the Burning Shadows pack pays for that. Basically, it's the same amount of money. Is what I mean. And then, um, because the Burning Shadows, they go for re like you can't even find them retail like blister packs of it. If you try to buy them online, they're like roughly almost ten bucks a piece, anyways. So it's almost like this stuff here was like free if I was to try to buy that as it is. Um, not 100% sure what's inside this for packs again, but we're gonna find out. We got a Champion's Path double box, which I'm gonna save for the end because, hey, maybe we'll get the Charizard out of it today. And we got an Alakazam V-Box. I have not opened up one yet. I this is They finally came out. I've been wanting to. Something special about it. It looks like there's a Sun and Moon pack, a Rebel Clash, and two Vivid Voltages in there. And then, of course, the cool Alakazam promos. But um, we're gonna do that second. We're gonna do that third. First two things are gonna be these. We'll get these out the way. So I'm gonna just set these to the side of me real quick. We'll get back to them. And yeah, we'll do these first. Um, I'm gonna do the mini tin first. So I'm curious of what's in the mini tin. I forget. And then we'll go back to the next thing. Ah, there's that. We'll get this opened up real quick. There we are. Close that. All right, let's see. Love that crinkle. There we go, and let's see what's inside. All right, oh, the Lycanroc coin is pretty cool. I like it, it's super shiny. I love collecting the coins too. So we're gonna just put that right over to there. And ooh, a sun and moon and a darkness ablaze pack. All right. Ah, come on. There it is. Awesome, well, so we're gonna break into the sun and moon first, then the darkness blaze. So also what comes with this cool little art card. Um, you can collect them all and make the little scene. It's really cool. So yeah, we're gonna just set that. I'm gonna set that into the little pile here of stuff. There we are. Take my tin, set that there. All right, so we'll do this. Set that one here. And let's go. I'm gonna set the coin to the side in case we get any hits here. All right, let's see what's in this sun and moon pack. I'm going for one of the gold cards that's in here. Um, I forget exactly what's there. Code card. That's for you guys. I hope somebody who does watch and get those gets something good out of them. Um, and again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I didn't say at the beginning like I normally do. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully I can keep bringing you awesome content. So, Pasimia, uh, Pokemon Catcher, Golbat, Shoulder, Youngos, Paris, Caterpie, yeah. Fomantis, Reverse Hollow, and a Bruxish. So, nothing great there. There we go. We'll put that there. Bulk. There we go. And, all right, let's get a Charizard. Let's get the Charizard, guys. There we go. There's that. Oop, I just want to fix the cam for a second, guys. There we go. All right, Charizard. Another code card, guys, for you. Flip it over. We'll do three from the back. Let's see what we can get. Heat Energy, Simiseer, Duck Trio, Skarmory, Cub Chew, Wimpod, Bundleby, Toxel, a Lyperd, and a Golurk. So, nothing. Nothing from those two packs. So, again, I just kind of wanted to open that up on camera so anybody who hasn't opened those can kind of see what's inside of them. Um, I, there's other Galar Pal tins that are out. They have a Burning Shadows pack in them, I think, or maybe something else. It, I know one of them does come with an Evolutions one, but that's what, like, the like the Galar starters are on those tins. So those are the ones to get if you're looking for, uh, if you would be looking f to get Evolution stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so now we're going to bring into the next one. All right, and that is this. This is the double pack with the pin. This was repackaged by the Pokemon International Company, not by any other, like, uh, distributors. So usually when you get products from them, I like them better, the, the resealed stuff, than um, any other type of holding company. Like, MG Holding Company is good about it. I, I don't mind some of their resealed stuff. Um, anything that's, like, uh, Fairfield, I don't really like to get stuff from there, so it's usually not good. 
it's usually not worth the money. These though, like I said, for that price point of 10 bucks, it's definitely, it's worth the money to me. Jeez, I can't open this though. But uh, just for the Burning Shadows pack, because I've been wanting to open up more and more Burning Shadows now that it's being harder to find. Of course, that's how it is. You don't want to open the stuff when you can find it. You only want to open it when it's hard to find. So this though, I honestly also kind of just bought it for this pin. I collect the pins and I love the Evolutions. And Espeon's one of my favorite ones. Espeon and Umbreon are probably my two faves. And um, well, from the Evolution line, and this one's just so pretty. They make such nice pins. All right, we'll put you there for now. Do, 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 do. Put that by my coin over there. All right, so we're gonna do the Rebel Clash first. A lot of people don't like Rebel Clash. I've, I haven't really ever pulled anything great from it, so I'm also not the biggest fan just because of that, but you know. Uh, there we are. I'm sorry, I was just looking at something on the camera. Ah, what's in here? That pack wasn't too bad to open. Code card. Flip that over now. Let's see if we can get anything out of Rebel Clash here. So we got a Cursed Shovel, Mascarin, Doughblade, Metatite, Stonky. Look at that little butt face. Grubbin, Wingle, Natu, Capacious Bucket. I can't speak. And, oh, just a non-hollow Cramorant. So still no hits. So hopefully from the stuff we get here later on, we'll get some better stuff. All right, Burning Shadows. We got another shot out of Charizard here. Um... That Rainbow Charizard goes for a ton of money. There's a Rainbow Zard in here. It goes for a lot of the PSA 10 because this print, um, so the second print run of Burning Shadows or the reprint run from what I've learned has been really, really, it's really, really bad. So the quality of the cards isn't always the greatest shape. So finding stuff in a PSA 10, especially that Charizard, it's almost impossible. That's why it's worth so much money. So it's just the fact that it's a low population of the card in that grade. Um, so yeah, let's hope we get lucky. Escape Rope. Bufflant, Electric, Dupiter, or Dupiter, Tug Tomorrow, Wimpod, a Meowth, Magikarp. Gotta love Magikarp. Reverse Hollow Heracross, that is a rare, and an Alolan Raticate. Nothing. So we got no hits so far out of any of these packs. We have not been getting bangers, but we're not done. We still got some stuff. We still got some goodies. So let's just go ahead and Watch me fumble around trying to open this. Ugh, I stink. I'm going to just break into it. Don't get mad at me, people. I'm going to rip it like a savage here. There's that, that. That's way to the side. Now we'll get into the goodies. All right, we'll go into that first for you. Look at that. I love that they're making Alakazam. So apparently a while back, too, they couldn't make Alakazam cards. I'm not sure what the reason was. I probably should have looked that up but they weren't making them for like the longest time. I think it was some kind of like copyright thing. Um, if anybody's interested, probably worth Googling to figure it out. But yeah, there is the jumbo card that comes with it. Um, here's this. I like that they do this right here more with the little holder because otherwise it damages the card. So the Alakazam looks pretty good. It's a little bit, you can see that little bit of a curve, but it's nothing crazy. Mm, centering a little bit top heavy. I'll probably end up putting this on the shop. Um, Alakazam is cool. Not like my favorite Pokemon or anything like that. So I know a lot of people really like Alakazam. I just sold the Japanese version of this. So again, like with that Surfetched in the last video or one of the last videos, um, this version of this artwork is only available in Japanese, I believe, unless in the only way it's available with this artwork in English is as a promo. So yeah, that's just a neat little, little thing about these. There's that. There's that right there. I just want to move something real quick, guys. There we are. Perfect. All right, let me get into these. All right, so yes, we've got two Vivid Voltage. We got a Sun and Moon. And then we've got a Rebel Clash. And there's that code card. I'm sure you guys already got it. There's that. And let's see. So we'll do Rebel Clash first. And then I'm going to go into the Sun and Moon. And then we're going to do the Vivid Voltage packs. Like I said, we're going to save that Champion's Path stuff for last, in case we can end on a uh, Charizard banger. All right, so flip it. Ooh, I ruined it for us, guys. Sorry. Forgot to do the code card first, so we know there's not going to be a hit in the Rebel Clash one. Um, green code, in case nobody knows. So green codes mean not a hit. If it's a white-colored code, it is a hit. Uh, Heliolisk, Caterpie, 
Galarian Corsola, a Litwick, a Shinx, a Roly Coley, a Reverse Hollow Not To, and a Greedent. So, non hollow Greedent for the rare. Still no hits. <laughs> not getting lucky today, guys. Just don't have the luck. All right, let's see if Sun and Moon changes that for us. Come on, Sun and Moon. Let's get a really cool secret rare here. All right, and the code card. There's that. Flip it on over. Three from the back. And we'll see again. All right, so we've got the pincer, an Ultra Ball, a Bulldor, more lol, Fomantis, a Spiro, pick a back, Sandile, a Reverse Hollow Rabumbi, and <laughs> Palace Sand. Oh, goodness. All right, guys, so still no hits, but. We got that one out the way. We did that. So, nothing out of Sun and Moon. Let's see if this Vivid Voltage Pack does anything for us. Let's get a chunk of chew. Let's get the chunk of chew. So, I really want to get either the VMAX or obviously the rainbow version of the chunk of chew. Uh, the rainbow Pikachu VMAX right now, I think, is going for still like 250 bucks raw, but it's ungraded. So, it's a, a good price. That's just a little bit less than some of the Charizards go for. Um, Hold on a second, guys. I'm having some issues with my cam here, it seems. So, just give me a second. I'm going to adjust it for us. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I know, that wasn't cool. So, we're good. We're better now. Um, Swoobat. Loudred. Zebastrika. A Clefairy. A Fanfi. A Yanma. A Galarian Meowth. A Duskull. Reverse Hollow Drone Rotom. That's a weirdly printed. It's kind of messed up. I'm not sure if you guys can see it there. And, hey, there we go. It's poorly centered, but awesome! A, a Hollow Lugia. So I just got this pulled in um, Astonishing Volt Tackle, Japanese version of the set. So this is awesome to me. It's our first hit of the day. Again, I'd wish it wasn't so. You can see on the left-hand side, it's much skinnier than the right hand, but it's still really, it's still a hit. That's still an awesome card. Everybody loves Lugia. It's like my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. You gotta love Lugia. So let me just off-screen for a sec so I can grab a sleeve and whoop. Right on there. Perfect. So we'll put those there for him. But take these over to here. All right. So yeah, guys, sorry I had to move the camera there like that. I just, I'm looking at my little setup and it seems like I'm having some issues with it that I've never had before. So I'm going to just fix it before I do the next video. But we should be good. We're almost done here. All right, guys. Let's see if we can get another good hit out of this vivid voltage. Again, that might just be a hollow. It might not be like one of these cool looking full arts or VMAXs, anything like that. But that, again, if I'm going to get a hollow out of this set, just a regular hollow, that's the one I want to get. I want to get the Lugia. That one I can't really grade. Um, I'll get the Japanese one graded probably. But that is still a cool card that's going to go up for sale. So somebody else who wants that Lugia just for your own collection, you're going to be able to get it. Um, Winden Stadium. Matang. Mightyena. Wismer. Trubbish. Tynamo. Clavapus. A Woobat, Reverse Hollow Alistair, and non hollow Quagsire. So we're just, the hits are not coming today. Hits are just not coming today for us. All right, guys. Last thing, we've got the double box. So let's hope we can get a Charizard out of this and make up for the losses that we've had today. Because today is not a plus when it comes to the shop and the wallet. Uh, Always fun to walk, open stuff and give you guys cool content, but I definitely want to try to pull stuff that's worth more. That's for sure. I'm hoping all my packs are here. All right, yeah, they're all there. They're just messed up. There is the double jumble one. I'm sure anybody who's seen some Champions Pass openings, you've seen that before. There is the packs. There's all the goodies. Hopefully one of those has that Charizard in there. I'm going for the rainbow one today. Um, if you've seen the last videos, I did pull a shiny one just recently and very excited about it. But now I know somebody that's looking for a rainbow one that's not me and I'm trying to pull it so I can sell that to them, hopefully at least. So there's the double promo. We're gonna just put that to the side because I have a million of them. So there's that. All right, guys. And again, I have to make sure this is fixed. There we go. Sorry, guys. I feel so bad that I keep having to do this. I don't know why it's doing this today. All right. All right. Let's just get to the last ones. We'll get this taken care of. See, I'm watching it move on me. 
All right, we're going to just have to blow through it quick now, guys, because i got to make sure the camera's not messed up because I'm watching it fall as we go here. Hold on. There we go. It's still moving on us. All right, I'm just going to blow through. Thanks, guys, for bearing with. I appreciate it. Alrighty, I still, I can't, I gotta fix it. Sorry. All right, guys. Ah, I didn't ruin it though. Okay, we're good. Boom. Sorry about those technical difficulties. Ah. All right, here we go. And Machoke, Rotom Bike, Hyper Potion, an Ekans, a Weedle, Galarian Lenone, Scraggy, Roly Coley, Galarian Lenone again. Hey, I needed this. I, I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones I actually needed for my master set, so I am so happy about this right now. Haha! <laughs> I know that's just a reverse hollow hit, but I am I'm through the moon over it because I've needed that. Oh, perfect. Alright, so that may not be a hit in other people's eyes, but that is a huge hit for Brendan. Alrighty, there's that. Code card for you. Beedrill, Milo, Absol, Hatena, Kakuna, a Rockruff, a Vulpix, Potion, Bruce Hollow Swablu, and a Lichen Rock. So, nada. Nada there, nada there. Alright, let's get this one here. Flipper, code card, one, two, three, Turfield, Betty, Kaboot, Ekans, Carvanha, Swablu, Vulpix, I see something at the bottom here, Swablu again, hey, and I'll Creamy VMAX, I also needed that for my master set, so let's go, these Champions Path Packs are doing it for us, guys. These are definitely working out in my favor. That is for sure. I needed all of this stuff that we've been getting. So the last two things may not be the biggest money hits, but they are hits that I needed. So this is awesome. I've been trying to get that Al Creamy VMAX for so long. Ah, oh, awesome, guys. Look how good that looks, too. I love the textures on the VMAX cards. They're so cool. There we go. Again, guys, I'm sorry about the technical difficulties with the camera here. I, It's been fine. I've been doing videos just good, and all of a sudden today I'm, I'm doing this one, and it's falling down on us. Boom, code card. Let me do three from the back. All right, let me try to just slow it a little bit. And Sharpedo, Arbok, Hop, a Potion, Rockruff, a Weedle with that. Some stuff on the card. Weird. Swablu, Kakuna, and... Oh, Galarian Obscoon for the last one. All right, guys, so nothing crazy for the hits today. Um, I've got a couple things that finished help me finish a master set, so let's just... Really quick brief uh, review of what we got today. The Al Creamy VMAX, Galarian Lenone, a Hollow Lugia, and then the promo Alakazam V from the promo box. So, guys, thank you again for watching. Um, leave me a like, drop me a... a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, thank you again, too, for dealing with my camera issues. I'm so sorry that, again, I have been having issues with it. I'm going to just have to work something out. But, yeah, guys, until the next one.